as our world has changed, so too have our use cases of technology and the way it has impacted our lives. With the focus on real challenges and future technology innovations, The Economic Times presents Reimagining Tech, a platform bringing industry leaders together to highlight the new growth paradigms brought on by agri-tech advances and automation in sales. Agriculture is a sector that is supposed to make the country's strength and the vision of the country's strength. The vision of the country's strength is that in the future of the future, if we have to reach 5 trillion trillion economics, तो एग्रीकल्चर का बहुत बड़ा रोल हो सकता है तो इसके लिए भारत सरकार ने जो इस लॉकडाउन के दौरान जो हमारे सामने चुनौती थी इस चुनौती के अंदर कई ऐसे फैसले लिए जो आने वाले टाइम के अंदर किसान के लिए गेम चेंज होगा प्रधानमंत्री जी माननीय नरेंद्र मोदी जी ने सबसे बड़ा एक फैसला जो किसानों को लिए एक लाख करोड़ का आर्थिक पैकेज की भी घोषणा की जो किसानों के लिए एग्रीकल्चर इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर के लिए बहुत बड़ा उपयोगी सिद्ध होने वाला है और प्रधानमंत्री जी का जो विजन है 2022 तक किसान की इनकम डबल करना है तो इसके ऊपर हमने कई ऐतिहासिक फैसले लिए हैं हम जो आज इस आर्थिक जगत से जुड़े हुए सभी जो बैठे हैं उन सब से मेरा ये ही कहना है कि हम सब मिलेंगे तभी किसान मजबूत होगा और किसान मजबूत होगा तभी देश मजबूत होगा जय हिंद जय भारत Moving on to the next session, Dr. Rajiv Kumar, Vice Chairman Niti Aayog, discussed the strategic plans for leading agriculture post COVID-19. Your views on, you know, what lies ahead for agriculture? So far, mm. it has really trailed industry. Its share in GDP has been contracting. Uh, mm. Is this a decisive turn for the better in agriculture? The farmers have been finally liberated, and uh, you know they've got their independence to do what they like. Uh, you know, with, with the promulgation of the ordinance on you know trading law as well as on the uh, the amendment to the Essential Commodities Act uh, that has been done, uh, and then the uh, and then the you know the already we had done the electronic mandis the enans were already in place so now for the now you will have in india with this one unified agricultural market that's one big thing so that there will be no state you know controls and borders and so on uh, and the farmers will then now can now be in direct contact with the agro processors you know call them whatever but let's give them the broad category uh, and i think this will see uh, a, a this this should see A, a, a massive transformation of the agricultural sector uh, in terms of uh, that uh, so far only 10% of our output had been processed agro processed i think that's uh, that, that sort of process will will, will now you know, see a big change uh, you will see a huge growth of the logistics industry you know the growth of in you know, logistics warehousing air conditioning chain etc will grow in a major way so that will get a huge impetus i think but more importantly also we'll get a big diversification of the agricultural sector so i think farmers will now uh, you know be be, be inclined uh, to move towards export oriented crops uh, what we also need at the moment in agriculture is one more set of change reforms and measures which is to use digital technology to agriculture's advantage and i think to that extent indian agriculture will begin to get transformed The series concluded with a panel on mitigating COVID-19, ensuring food security, support to farmers and livelihoods. So I'd like to touch on a global perspective first. It is obvious that both live and livelihood are at the risk from the pandemic on global food security due to negative impact of the COVID-19. So today we have a esteemed is the panelist also a uh, lot of expertise in uh, like uh, indian perspective so we are very expected to very uh, interesting is the experience mr dan over to you i feel the covid 19 is definitely challenging but the test is for our ecosystem always we are always challenged agriculture is always challenged by climate by pandemic that we did not foresee but it is here and probably here to stay to some extent and our ecosystem must prove itself by being a strong ecosystem by being a dynamic ecosystem and by being uh, able to implement a strategy into action india is the second highest producer of agriculture 11th exporter right our, our exports have plateaued i believe that export competency is a clear indicator whether my farmer is doing well or not if you are competitive on the world stage you will do well in india also so 
there is a, an opportunity opening up we are moving away from the mandi system to people perhaps putting up businesses right across india and uh, i believe that uh, new business model will come up and all these things will remove the intermediaries and help the farmer get far higher income and make sure that the livelihoods of the people connected with the cluster are also protected uh, i'd like to mr simon you know when india went into lockdown what was uh, very impressive to see was how quickly agriculture got back on its feet and it's it's really to the support of the governments at all levels federal state district even in some villages uh, to make things happen what i believe it is the right time to support and modernize agriculture um given all that we know the indian economy will be struggling this year and the bright spot in many way what you hear is agriculture and i do believe also and sanjeev was mentioning this the government has taken some very important and bold steps in terms of the essential commodity act and um really also talking about rural finance these are the right approaches because ultimately what we'll find is that farmers will have better income and that will obviously lead to more consumption in rural areas which will support the economy but what i do see is that digitalization has received a tremendous boost during these covid times and this is i think where we really need to leverage the learnings yeah? it's a large country how can you reach your 130 crore farmers you can only do it digitally uh, thank you very much all of these uh, reforms uh, have been long pending and are considered to be important and many people at the policy levels indeed were working on it the unusual times that we are seeing has only expedited the pace at which these reforms have got uh, initiated and uh, deployed we see a lot of potential to unshackle indian agriculture and take it to greater heights thanks to these uh, reforms we also foresee a lot of market led benefits moving to the producer because there is a lot of policy level enablers that have come about thanks to these reforms technology is going to play a significant role one on the production side it will help farmers and their aggregation points the fpos to understand what to produce how much to produce and how to produce and on the demand side technology will also help the consumers the large scale procurers of agri commodities what to procure from where to procure and finally for the players between the producers and consumers like banks financial institutions advisory service providing institutions all of them will be leveraging a lot of technology to make goods and cash flow from the producers and the consumers so in our view technology is going to play a significant role in agriculture now do i foresee recent agriculture policy reform so reconfiguring uh, indian agriculture definitely yes if, if you see how last 3 months have unfolded uh, for the agri sector you'll see that when the pandemic hit the country and when the lockdown started there was a lot of confusion especially the first few weeks where the interstate movement of goods interstate movement of goods reverse migration of labor uh, all of this distorted supply and even the consumption patterns uh, and these created big challenges for the agri ecosystem but the clarification from the government and the interventions that followed the, the week two weeks after the lockdown started they were extremely useful in fact uh, there after the bounce back that the agriculture ecosystem has seen is very fast uh, because this one of the sector that government cannot allow to fail uh, now some of the policy reforms that have come in in the last 30 days especially the ones around opening the markets are very enabling uh, tying the markets to local mandis made sense when india was facing food security issues but today allowing farmers and farmer producer organizations to work directly with buyers across the country is very powerful uh, the farmers may still work with the local aggregators uh, because mind you aggregators add value in the agri value chains uh, because they bring in diversified buyer base and they also take the risk of selling the entire produce uh, irrespective of the quality mix but the choice uh, now has moved to the farmers and and that is very powerful Th- this will kind of push aggregators to add more value uh, and value added services so all in all uh, these are great steps uh, that will go a long way in making agri value chains operate at higher level if you look at our microsoft uh, the mission statement that we have right we want to empower every organization and every person on this planet to achieve more so what we've done is uh, with our azure farm beats uh, platform 
we basically created a industry specific uh, cloud platform which basically provides uh, rich practical insights from the data that we have aggregated so what we've done is we have basically collected uh, all of this uh, uh, data aggregated it on a platform and there are various data elements like uh, you know the quality of soil the uh, humidity level the vegetation the water levels and so on and so forth uh, we've collected these data uh, data points data elements from multiple sources from uh, drones from satellite imagery and so on and so forth and then we have applied vision and uh, machine learning algorithms on top of this to build the data sets and all of this basically has been made available uh, to startups so that they can then uh, leverage these rich uh, data and data insights to build relevant solutions for uh, you know for the uh, requirements of farmers and other stakeholders in the entire uh, entire value chain uh, and our mission will continue to be to provide that platform to provide those solutions so that you know startups can create more interesting uh, data driven uh, you know solutions for uh, for agriculture in india and also take it globally data science is used in agriculture today in a number of ways it could be about uh, the field data the genetics of the seed from drones, satellite imaging, the sensors that we are installing in the field. This is actually the future as we speak, reimagining agriculture as we know. Thanks to uh, data science and machine learning, we can now track the flow of um, the pest. Knowing this is really powerful because it helps farmers to uh, take preventive measures at the right time. Because of this data, we can now share this knowledge with our farmers and we can help them choose the seed which is more appropriate for their needs and also follow better management practices that are sustainable for them in the long run.